and then his chainsaw ran out of gas. What? Are we live? Oh. Hello. In this episode, I will tell you about my mixed emotions I have towards this miter saw. Sometimes I feel like throwing it out of the window, but I know I would run downstairs to catch it before it hits the ground. There are plenty of videos on YouTube where people drive nails into a piece of wood and then cut it on this saw. Yes, it is impressive what this saw can cut with this universal blade. Wood, aluminum, steel, copper and plastic. Isn't it fantastic? Actually, there are a few buts. First, this useless dust bag. It hardly catches anything and doesn't work with metal cutting. And since we are talking about cutting metal, there are no sparks, just metal shavings flying all over. Use safety goggles, not just safety glasses, goggles. Metal shavings are ricocheting and flying from different angles, back to the useless dust bag. Throw it away, and hook up a wet-dry vacuum. Even though it sucks, it is much better than the bag. Second, yes, you can do some adjustments. The right angle here, by positioning the back wall, just use the conveniently attached key to loosen those four bolts. The right angle here. By adjusting this bolt here. and 45 degrees angle adjusting this bolt. You can even set the cutting depth here. But you cannot adjust the table height here. On the right side it is flat. On the left side, well. It is lower by 12 thousandths of an inch. When you press down the piece that you cut here, it will be off the right angle here. The problem is that this clamp works only over this lower table and holding down the object, you tilt it at the blade. So I came up with this solution. I've made such a bracket that extends the hold down clamp. Now I can hold the piece to the table that forms the right angle with the blade. By the way, 
I purchased this saw for 220 Canadian dollars, plus tax. With the price and cutting capabilities this saw gives, I am pleased. I use this universal blade to cut steel pipes, different steel tubing, as well as this aluminum tiny profile for window blinds. Nice straight cut. I am impressed. You can purchase this company blades dedicated to specific materials, like stainless steel, wood, aluminum, or just steel. This saw accepts 10 inches blades with 1 inch or 5 eighths arbor. Just flip the disc. Like this craftsman blade for cutting wood. When I read reviews about this saw, somebody was complaining about using the hold down clamp on the right side. He said that it is useless since the motor hits the clamp. Did you try angle cuts? Anyhow, with this new bracket for the hold down clamp I've made, it is a good saw. No negative emotions anymore.